part 16, using a calculator to find squares, square roots, cubes, and cube roots. You will find this on page 19 in the Namibian Mathematics Guide 8 textbook, y equals mx plus c to success. Now, the square, square root, cube, and cube root of a number can be found using a calculator by using the following function keys. This is the key for square, okay, anything to the power of 2. If you must press anything to the power of 3 or 4 or 5, then you will use this key or some calculators this key. Square root, it looks like this, but if you must find the third root or fourth root or fifth root, you can use this. Some calculators will have the cube as well as the cube root key. Now, let's look at example 15. Using a calculator to evaluate this, giving your answer correct to three decimal places. Now, due to the fact that there's more than one operation on top as well as the bottom, the best will be to put in brackets so that the calculator can first work out the top, then work out the bottom, and then do the final division. Now, let's see how to press it on the calculator. Start by putting a bracket. So that's why I have a bracket there. Then 12, then to the power of 2, that key squared, then the minus, then the 4, then if your calculator is not having a cube, then it's that key, or you can also press this key, some calculator, then press the 3, then close the bracket. So I actually just put in brackets there. Then division, and now start again with a bracket. And then press square root, that square root, then 15, then plus. Now I'm going to press, if my calculator is not having that key, I can press Three because I want to find the cube root. So three, then the root key. Then I press the 61. Then I, I end by closing the bracket. And then don't forget your equal. And if you do that, you will come to an answer of 7.268. I want you to do try now 15 number B. Stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's see how we will press in this. So, because this is square root, I will start by pressing in a square root. Okay, now, due to the fact that there's two operations, can you see? So, I prefer then to put a bracket. So, I'm going to then start by putting that bracket. Then I'm going to press that 7.1. Now it's to the power of 3. So if your calculator is not having that, I will just do this key. Or some calculators, this key. And then I will press the 3. So I was pressing 7.1 to the power of 3. Then I pr press the plus. Then I press the 2.9. 2.9 and now most calculators will have the square key and then don't forget to close your bracket and then press equal and your calculator must give you an answer of 19.140 due to the fact that I said three decimal places you must have if there's nothing you must have a zero in the third decimal place.